Hey, Julie Roussel here in empowering you with the Saturday Night Skinny, which is life hacks and valuable tips with skincare or just about anything, helping you, trying to help you feel beautiful inside and out. So um, I missed last Saturday due to Memorial Day weekend, but I'm happy to be back this Saturday night. So hopefully, you know, you can find some value in the Saturday night skinnies. Like I said, sometimes it's skincare tips. Sometimes it's just life hacks and valuable tips that friends have shared with me and that I wanted to pass along to you. So hopefully you find them helpful. So tonight's tip, um, have you ever struggled with, you know, blackheads or just those dark spots on your nose? <laughs> you look like little dots or do you have blackheads occasionally in the summertime? Well, like, guess what? You're just like everybody else. You know, it's summer. There's a lot of hot temperatures. You know, you're sweating. You're working out. You know, you, you happen to wear makeup a lot all day long in the sweat and heat. You know, you have clogged pores. And sometimes we're even dealing with hormonal bits of acne as we get older, not just teenagers. And I'll be honest, I've struggled with it myself. Um, for a lot of years, I was used to hide my nose and my chin areas because you can always see those black dots everywhere, even though they were tiny. It looked like someone took a a pen and was just, you know, dotting my nose with them. And I used, always used to hide them with makeup because I tried so many other things to get rid of them and it never really worked. You know, like those pore strips. Well, what's funny is when you already have large pores and there's a lot of garbage in them, putting those pore strips on every night helped a little bit. It would pull some of it out, but the pores were still large and they would fill up every day, no matter how many times I tried to get rid of them. So it wasn't until I stumbled upon a tip from a friend that I was able to really fight those off and really help minimize the pore size as well as minimize the amount of dark blackhead spots that I would see on my nose and especially in the chin area. And it also noticed that it decreased the amount of breakouts that I was having. So I wanted to share that tip with you and hopefully it's something that you will find valuable. Um, I've got my hair back far enough, but I'm gonna demonstrate uh, just a couple easy steps of what you can do to help minimize um, those blackheads. I know it's kind of hard to see with the light here, but, um, oh, there we go. You might be able to see some of the shine on the nose. <laughs> it's late at night, I do have a little oil. But uh, first thing you wanna do is you need to remove your makeup first. And for a lot of people, this is hard because they think, oh, while I'm using a scrub, I'm just gonna scrub it all right off. Well, unfortunately, that is not the case. And I used to do that myself. And what I discovered, uh, thanks to a friend of mine who is uh, a, der a dermatology PA, she pointed out that if I wanted the products to work properly, I had to make certain that there was nothing on my skin at that point. You know, no makeup, no powder, no products, nothing. So I'm just gonna take that off right here. Because I'm gonna demonstrate on my nose, because for me, this is the trouble area now, um, just in having those little dots there. But now that the pores are a lot smaller, and the fact that I do this occasionally, it seems to really help uh, keep the blackheads away. So the first thing I do is I take off makeup. I don't know how well you can see, but um, there is some on there. I don't wear a whole lot, I really don't, mostly just powder. But uh, now that I've taken that off, um, the first step that you wanna complete is your exfoliating scrub. Now, if you have something, you really don't need a lot, especially for a small area. And you need something that's a very heavy exfoliant or something along the lines of like a, a microdermabrasion type paste so that it will remove the top layer of skin and whatever is um, keeping those pores blocked and clogged. So you just wanna take a tiny little bit. It's a sugar and salt and vitamin C one. This is the one that I love. And if you've ever tried one of our samples that had the little paste packets in them, it's phenomenal. So all you do is just take a little bit. I'm gonna show you just on this area right here. But you just take a little bit and lightly Scrub in a circular motion using the pads of your fingers. And you don't have to do it for very long. Now, some people have skin that's more sensitive. And I tend to scrub just a little bit because I want to remove what is there and remove the skin. Okay, next thing you need to do is remove it. Um, you can use water or, um, or just wash it, wipe it off with a towel, but I prefer to use the water to make certain that I've removed it all. Okay, there we go, perfect. Nice and easy. So then you wanna at least try to pat it dry after you've rinsed, because the next step needs a dry bit of skin to work properly. Okay, so it's not really looking very shiny. There we go, I think you can see it a little bit better now. Um, the dots are still there, just very, very tiny. 
And once you've used your paste and rinsed and dried, the next thing you wanna try is your mask. You wanna find an, ex not a, it can be an exfoliating mask, but you wanna apply something that is designed for acne. And um, if you can, please make certain that you choose something that is sulfur-based, um, especially if your skin tends to be on a little bit more sensitive or dry side. Um, I discovered with mine that if I was using a benzoyl peroxide one pretty often, then my skin would dry out and get very red and irritated. Okay, I think you can see me applying it. There we go. All right, so I've got my purple power going on here. There we go. So you just wanna apply the mask and you want to allow that to sit on for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes during the time. Let's see if you can see that any better there. No, lights are pretty bright in my bathroom, I'm sorry to say. But um, I think you can definitely see um, that it's on my face right now. And you can let it sit there for a 10 to 15 minute period and allow it to dry. Because what it will do is it will pull all of that out of your pores and it will also help shrink the pores at the same time. So after, you know, you could do that while you are hopping in the shower. You could do that while you're hopping in the bathtub, while you're getting the kids ready for bed to, at night. Um, this scrub and mask combination definitely works better in the nighttime when you removed all your makeup instead of in the morning before you put all of that on. So after you've left it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and it will dry and turn a little bit more white, you'll be able to tell. Um, you basically wanna just wipe, wash it off again There we go, I think you can see it a little bit better here. But I'm gonna remove purple power. There we go, perfect. Okay, super easy. Okay, so next. If you do have very oily skin and large pores, um, if your skin tends to be a lot like mine, you would then want to use a toner, uh, something that is alcohol free, because for me, alcohol burns my skin a lot. So I just use a toner and wipe it on, uh, normally my whole face, but I'll just use this area right here. I do wipe on a toner to close the pores and to minimize the amount of oil production. And then what you can do next is apply your normal products that you would put on, whether they're anti-aging, you know, whether it's a light moisturizer or an acne-based moisturizer so that it's not real heavy and it doesn't tend to clog your pores. Now, if you happen to have a lot of blackheads in that area or they're very dark and very well embedded, um, what you can do is apply an acne treatment. Um, for example, something with um, benzoyl peroxide or some of the other uh, acne medications along with maybe retinol in it. And what you can do is, I tend to use the Unblemish 3, which is the lovely pump here. I don't know if you've seen it before. But... Um, just mix it and spread it on that area. Just a tiny little bit is all you need. Because uh, mine tend to be a little bit more embedded when it's summertime and they tend to get dark. So I try to get rid of them and minimize them. And you can apply that treatment and it's super easy to get on. The next thing you would do is then go with your normal products that you would place over, especially like a moisturizer, just to keep your skin soothed and moisturized. So I hope these tips were helpful for you and hopefully it will help you minimize any large pores and decrease any blackheads or breakouts that you're having in those certain areas. And I hope that you found these tips pretty valuable. And if you did, would you please uh, leave a reaction uh, right on the side and let me know that you found it valuable or even just pop a comment in there in the thread below. And, uh, if you have, and PM me if you happen to need recommendations or if you're open to trying this combination out. And please feel free to reach out anytime if you have questions or concerns. You know, I'm always happy to help you out with anything. So I hope that you found this helpful and I will catch you next Saturday night with the Saturday Night Skinny. I'll catch you later.